Yeah, well, with a busy summer event schedule, Canal Side is going to be a very popular destination over the next several months. But there is still a lot of work going on down there, which leads to a lot of questions about that development. Two on your sides, Emily Lampa is reporting live from Canal Side, and she has some answers. Em? Scott and Mary Alice, of course, we're talking about the Odd Block. And of course, there's the South Odd Block, the Canal Side we all know and love. Of course, there's the water. The promise of a new children's hospital really brings in the crowds. But then there's the North Odd Block, which is a big, empty lot. There was a lot of activity out here earlier today, so we brought this and asked about this at the Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation's director's meeting today. But the answer they gave us was a little less than exciting. So right now what we're doing is cleaning the site up. We want to make it look presentable. A cleanup effort and spraying grass seeding so that crowds coming out to Canal Side won't have to see this. What the North Odd Block looked like just a few weeks ago, weeds, trees and piles of dirt that collected after years of the property sitting vacant. We had hoped at this point in time that we'd have more actual development there, but uh, right now we want to clean it up so that the public doesn't consider it to be an eyesore. Congressman uh, Brian Higgins shared his frustrations a few weeks ago. That needs to be done. The Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation approved a master plan in 2014. Uh, four years later, we don't have any progress. I am working uh, with the Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation and the governor's office to make that a real project. I think we will see very good progress there within the next several months. Big, big piece. Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation so President Tom D. tells two on your side, request for proposals for the North Odd Block could go out in about three to six months. It's just going to take a little bit of time and, uh, you know, nobody's ever patient with that, but, but look. It's been, for me, it's been nine years. It's been incremental changes and improvements. So there's still work to do. Uh, we're very focused on the North Odd Block uh, to make that a commercial mixed-use development with residential housing, a city square uh, exclusive for pedestrians. But Dee believes development of the North Odd Block is dependent on the success of getting a developer to begin work on the remaining section of the South Odd Block, the parcel of land next to the Explore and More Children's Museum. D says they have a developer in mind, but won't disclose the name. So that's an ongoing negotiation that I can't talk much about other than, other than to say that it's, it's a negotiation that's happening. It's one that we encourage and one that we're excited about. Now, Dee tells us that he hopes to be able to announce the name of the developer within the next month, but it won't be Dee who is making this announcement because he has announced that he will be retiring very soon. Today was actually his last director's meeting. So it was a very emotional event talking about all the things that he had achieved with the city of Buffalo. And of course, we were told that after nine years with the Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation, he will be retiring on June 29th. Reporting live from Canal Side, Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.